Northwest Lost Sales. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jack, and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today, I'm going to be showing you a 2003 Bluebird All American. This has got the uh, the engine everyone wants, the Cummins ISC 8.3 liter, paired with an Allison automatic transmission. Full size school bus here. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's check it out. I uh, got Eric behind the camera doing an impeccable job today. Uh, we're going to come on inside. First thing I want to point out, uh, we got kind of a makeshift pebble step treads there. Uh, with some with some rocks there, get you some nice grip. We got a black ribbed Iowa stepway, and we got some grab rails coming on inside. Uh, driver's seat upholstery looks great. No big rips, cuts, tears, anything like that going all the way up. No foam sticking out, nothing like that. Um, sitting in it here, so not an air ride driver's seat, but uh, does go back and forth. Uh, going from right to left, we got your. Uh, Open and close the door button here. Allison automatic transmission shift pad. Down here, all your heaters, the rear heaters, defrost, all that good stuff. Uh, does have cruise control for those long nights on the highway. Uh, make that a lot easier. As far as the mileage go, the, the odometer's been replaced. Uh, does not have 97,000 miles. It has 147. When we scanned the ECM and the previous owner also uh, confirmed that as well. Uh, to the left, we got your high idle switch, all your gauge clusters over here uh, we got your dome lights in the rear wipers uh, your auxiliary fans that are up top uh, we do have heated mirrors they are not uh, power mirrors but they are heated for those frosty mornings um, and then there is a vent switch over here for the uh, one of the emergency roof hatches uh, we got a PA system here up top AM FM cassette stereo so you can rip out those uh, those old cassettes, grab your pencil, rewind them, and pop them in there. Um, and yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the driver area. Let's check out the uh, let's check out the back. All right, so this is a uh, this is a '84 passenger school bus, '84 packs. That is three kids to a seat. So uh, coming down here, I believe it's about a 14 row. And uh, looking at all the seat covers, pretty good condition. Though you're going to see a few patch jobs here and there. But uh, over and above all, the kids were well behaved on the bus. There's not, a, you know, there's no big holes or um, there's going to be tiny rips and stuff, but nothing major that would uh, really catch your eye. <clears throat> Going all the way to the back. Eric will show you back there, rear emergency exit door or window. We have an emergency exit door in the rear here on the passenger side and then one midship on the driver's side. We got two emergency roof hatches, one in the front, one in the back, some speakers zigzagging their way down the aisle and dome lights going down the main aisle. Um, we've been getting a lot of people interested in conversion, so I got the measurements here for you for the inside. So bumper to bumper, it's 40 feet. Uh, on the inside, from the back of the driver's seat to the back wall is 31 feet. Uh, interior width is seven and a half. So if you think of it like a rectangle, a usable space, you got 31 by seven and a half, and then the interior height is 61. So that'll give you uh, what you need there to kind of plan that out. Uh, that'll pretty much do it for the inside. Let's, uh, let's check out the outside. <clears throat> Eric's going to show you the front passenger side tire here. Those are about 18, 30 seconds. Those are meaty. Got a lot of tread on those. Both of the fronts are about 18. Give you a nice pan of underneath. These are West Coast buses. They're not going to be rusty by any means. So we do have some underfloor storage on this one. It's not passed through, but we got a dual bay here. You can see that go all the way back. And then uh, a little one here, which that's uh, that's something new. That's a different uh, storage area that I'm used to. It looks like it's got a slide out tray. Uh, Eric's saying this could be for like a spare tire in there. You can see, yeah, I've never actually seen something like this before, but looks like you could maybe put a spare tire or uh, just, just use it as space. So pretty cool. Uh, rub rails, you'll see we got a little bit of some scuffing going down. Over and above all, body's in good condition. It's 
not bad by any means. You're just going to see minor wear and tear items. Eric's going to show you the rear passenger side duals and a nice pan of underneath as well. Eric's going to show you the uh, battery box and tray here. Open up the side here for you. So this is powered by the Cummins ISC 8.3 liter turbo diesel engine rated at 260 horsepower. It is also paired with the Allison MD 3060 automatic transmission. It seems to be uh, Seems to be the engine everyone wants. It's the big boy. Cummins ISC 8.3. And it sure does look clean. There's going to be a nice shot of the engine tag there. I'm going to show you underneath, underneath the engine area so you can see what's going on under there. Looking good. All right, come around the back, a few little minor infirmities on that rear corner there. Looks like you got a dent there as well. Hopefully you can see that in the camera good. Again, minor stuff, mainly cosmetic, nothing uh, too surprising on a school bus. Eric's gonna show you the rear driver's side duels. I do want to point out we do have a little bit of action here kind of halfway down the bus on the side nothing too crazy like i said but this is kind of slightly dented in with a couple scratches but looks good uh we got another bay on the side here two doors a little storage pod and uh eric will show you the front driver's side tire here again those front tires are about 18 30 seconds those are meaty a lot of life left on those And last but not least, I do want to point out, this does have a Washington State Patrol Safety Inspection Sticker from 2021, basically here in the state of Washington, to uh, put a bus into service. Every year it's got to go through a Washington State Patrol Safety Inspection, uh, and basically they said it was safe enough to pass, so that's always a good thing to know. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.